Sunday afternoon and several leaders took time to visit victims of the collapse room building at the Kenyatta National Hospital. Gender and Youth Affairs Cabinet Secretary Cicely Kariuki appreciating the efforts of doctors at the Kenyatta National Hospital have put in saving the lives of victims of the horrific building collapse. Just to encourage them, uh, just to pray with them, but also as a gesture of us as government in terms of how we spend our liberty um, to also encourage the doctors and the nurses and the other staff who are taking care of these um, victims uh, who unfortunately uh, met with this accident not because of their own will but just because uh, an accident happened on a building which was not necessarily located in the, in the right place. The leader said the incident could be avoided if the National Construction Authority could have surveyed the building. Lakini pia tunasikitishwa sana sababu mkasa huu ungezuiliwa. Jengo hili imeonekana wazi likuwa limejengwa eh, pale uh, palipo na mkondo wa maji, yani a riverbed, na tuataka tushirikiane na serikali ya county hii tukiwa serikali kuu kuhakikisha majengo kama haya ambayo yamejengwa kwa riverbeds and particularly repairing areas ya kwamba tusiwe na mikasa kama hii tena the authority has since said the Ruma building had no occupation certificate from them. The building is believed to have been constructed on a riparian land and was not approved by the county government. The Nairobi county government has ordered all residents, especially those in adjacent building on the riparian section, to evacuate with immediate effect. Brenda Kiprono reporting for Channel 1 News Hour.